Is this a bag, a suitcase, a baggage, or a luggage? Today, we're talking about the words bag, baggage, and luggage. We're also going to talk about the different types of baggage or luggage. For example, suitcases, duffel bags, and briefcases. The large bags that we put our stuff in when we travel are sometimes called bags, sometimes called baggage, and sometimes called luggage. But what's the difference between these words? First of all, the easiest thing to do is just call them bags. Bag is a countable noun, and it's very easy to use. How many bags do you have? I have one bag. I have two bags. The only problem with the word bags is that it's not specific. It can refer to luggage or baggage, but it can also refer to trash bags, plastic bags, paper bags, etc. But if you are in an airport and you say that you have two bags, everyone is going to understand that you are talking about your baggage or your luggage. No one is going to think that you have two trash bags. So now, how do we use luggage and baggage? When you have stuff inside of them, you can use either of these words. Baggage is more common in the US, but both of them are correct. So when you have your bags full of stuff at the airport, you can call them your luggage, your baggage, or your bags. However, when the bags are empty, we usually use the word luggage. So you wouldn't usually talk about buying baggage. You would normally talk about buying luggage. But I really doubt that most native English speakers think about this. Most of the time, it really doesn't matter which word you use. Either one is fine. The most important thing today is that luggage and baggage are both uncountable nouns. So we can say some baggage or a lot of luggage, but we never say one baggage or two luggages. If you need to count them, you can say one piece of luggage or two pieces of baggage. Or again, you can make it a lot easier and just use the word bag. I have one bag. I have two bags. The most common type of luggage is called a suitcase. Suitcases come in different sizes. The larger ones are designed to be checked or put under the plane. And the smaller ones are designed to be used as carry-on things that you carry onto the plane with you. Some suitcases are hard side, which means that they are made from a hard material, such as polycarbonate or aluminum. And sometimes they are soft side, which means that they are made from a soft material, such as nylon or polyester. Bags that look like this are called duffel bags. Duffel bags can also have wheels, but often they do not. A large, hard box that people use for travel is called a trunk. This type of box-shaped bag for carrying documents or money is called a briefcase. Large, lightweight bags like this that you carry over your shoulder are called tote bags. More expensive, medium to large size bags that women use to carry their personal items are called handbags. And the small bags that women often use to carry phones, money, cosmetics, etc. are called purses. However, some people use the words purse and handbag differently, and we're not going to discuss all of those details today. The reason that I mentioned purses and handbags is that when you are flying, these are called personal items. Airlines typically tell you that you can have one carry-on item and 
one personal item. So if you had two large suitcases, one small suitcase, and one handbag, you would have to check the two large suitcases. The small suitcase would be your carry-on, and the handbag would be your personal item. So yeah, I think that's most of what you need to know about luggage or baggage. But if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you for watching.